got Christine Green from the Western Australia Cancer yes. Council with us today. And she's going to talk to us about something that's really very interesting. Tran, tran. Give up smoking, if you can, for a day. November the 10th, I've got a smoke-free day. The cancer... Well, actually, well, it's worked through the National yes, Heart Yes, National Foundation. Heart Foundation, the Australian Council on Smoking and Health and the Cancer Council of WA, Public Health Department and Hospital Benefit Funds. Right. So there's quite a few... Are all joining together to have a smoke-free day on November the 10th. Mm -hmm. But it is actually being launched today. It's been launched today, yes, and the publicity... We hope we'll get you all involved in it, and by November the 10th you'll be prepared to give up smoking for the day. <laughs> it's uh, it being launched in Perth in by Perth, Ray Young. Yes, being launched by Ray Young today, and um, Mr O'Connor will be supporting Mr Burke the, in the opposition to give up smoking for the day. The concept of the Smoke Free Day was developed in the United States, where 3.5 million people gave it up for the day, and 2.5 million people managed to stay off smoking for two weeks. Oh, and since then, Canada, Denmark, Finland and Norway have all had similar results. That's terrific, isn't so it? So they're pilot testing it in Western Australia and it should be adopted nationally next year. So I think it's tremendous WA has mm. been given the chance to get it all going and get it working. So we're actually preparing ourselves a month ahead for this campaign. That's right. Uh, and what kind of publicity is it to lead up to November the 10th? Oh, we've, we're planning quite a few things in Kalgoorlie. Um, some of them a little bit under the hat at the moment, give you a nice surprise on the day and things like that. But what we'd really like is as many groups um, to be involved as possible, lions, things like that, to come in on it and start challenging other people. And right, if we can give up smoking for a day, well, you can give up smoking for a day. Mm -hmm. um, there's Get the footballers to footballers challenge the cricketers. And cricketers and things like that, as many people as possible. It'll have a snowball effect and hopefully it will go very well. Mm -hmm. The reason for this smoke-free day is it a public awareness campaign? It is. Campaign? Um, just to give you a few figures that I've got here, in Kalgoorlie Boulder region, the total of number of people who smoke from the 10 to 15 age group and the males are 287 and females 271. That's what age group? 10 to 15, which I think is quite frightening really. And 16 and over, there's 2,467 male smokers and 1,706 female smokers. The females are beginning to catch up with the men in their smoking habits. Well, we seem to surpass them in everything else. <laughs> well, this thing isn't such a good idea, really. Um, sort of, for instance, four times as many people die from smoking-caused diseases than road crashes. One smoker in five will contract lung cancer before the age of 75, if he or she even lives that long, which is unlikely. Um, each year we lose from smoking disease 50 times the number of Australians who died during the entire duration of the Vietnam War. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those sort of things. So really, <laughs> the idea is, yes, it they? is. And if we can get the um, people aware that smoking is not the normal thing. How many smokers have we got in our area? Oh, We've got all right. kinds of figures Yes, there. I've got all kinds of figures. 4,731 smokers in Kalgoorlie Boulder. So if you're one of the smokers out there... If you can give it up for the day, we're going to have information booths where you can get help as to how to give it up for the day and if you can give it up for more than a day well that's fine um, this is a West Australian only campaign? West Australian only and it's throughout the whole of West Australia so have we got link ups with anyone else so that we can suffer or are we suffering alone well, isolated little people? Um, in San Francisco their smoke out day is three days after ours and the mayor of Perth and the mayor of San, Fris San Francisco are going to have a direct link up on the telephone on our day and I think again on their day. Not chain smoking link up? No, no. A telephone link up. So, and Ron Clark is going to be involved in Perth. He's going to have fun runs and collect cigarettes in the mall on the day. And things Christine, like that. Why is your, what's your involvement in? Um, I'm the coordinator for the Kalgoorlie region and we're trying to extend it as far as possible uh, through various organisations. And if anyone would like any more information, we have kits available that we can send direct to them and then they can get their own little thing going mm -hmm. and help us. So if one of the industries or big mining companies or what have you are interested, they could contact you and get a kit yes, they to can. help them through the day? Help them, yes, <laughs> and give them ideas of what they can do on the day. Um, and down in Meriden, we have someone working down there for us. Well, perhaps we could start getting giving some names. You've got uh, a Meriden name and number right. there. Right, that's uh, Mrs Eileen Jones in Meriden. She's responsible for that area, and her number is 411097 in Meriden, and myself in Kalgoorlie, Christine Green, 214457. Mm -hmm. 
four seven. What was that? Sorry, Sorry two one double five four seven. Double five four, four seven. seven. Yes. And yeah. if you'd just like to give me a ring, we can have a chat about it and see what's going on. Now you on. haven't got anyone in Norseman and Esperance, so if anybody in that area wants to contact someone they can either contact people direct in Perth or yourself. Yes, the Heart Foundation in Perth or myself here in Kalgoorlie. Right. And we will give them as much help as possible. Mm. The idea on the day is to give pledges. Right. And so you're really looking for a lot of support from the public. Yes. And service groups and sporting groups and what have you for yes. the day. Yes, as much as possible. Mm. Well, that sounds exciting, Christine. Let's hope yes. that it works and you've got a, a smoke-free day for the that would be interesting to have everybody chewing yes. in. Well, I'm sure it will, yes. It, and it really will be a fun thing. Oh, yes, definitely fun. Um, um, we might even have an odd graffiti board up so people can go and stick up what they think mm. on it and those sort of things. Go. Mm. Yes. Oh, well, we look forward to what the committee's actually coming up with because I'm sure there'll be lots of fun things for the community out there. And uh, thanks very much. And We hope to have you back before the day so right. that you can give us an idea what the committee's going to do on November the 10th, uh, you know, for public awareness and what have you. Good. Thank you very Thanks much Thanks very indeed. much, Christine, for dropping in. And viewers, we all hope that uh, you remember that day, November the 10th, for your smoke-free day. So get rid of your tension before then. Relieve your tension. We'll be back in a little while so you can look at a commercial. <laughs>